Hi guys, today I'm introducing to you GeForce GTX 780. Some of the guys over the internet on the forum were talking about that this graphic card cannot be inserted into an HP workstation. This is an HP workstation Z420. This workstation has been upgraded with the Samsung 840 SSD 128 gigabyte hard drive for a special customer who's doing some drawings in AutoCAD and some 3D modeling. Now I'm going to open the device so we're going to see how the workstation looks like and how I connected the graphic card. It's very easy to open an HP workstation. You just pull out the button and then you have opened the device. As you can see, the workstation has four places for the hard drive. You can have a SATA combination with uh, solid state disk. You can have four solid state hard drives, you can have uh, SATA drives, you can have mirror. Uh, here you have a Xeon CPU under the cooler. There is the cooling mechanism for the RAM. And there is another bank for the RAM. I don't know how come this one is not cooled. I'm gonna check that out. Here you have the 600 watt. Let me zoom. 600 watt power supply unit that's gonna power the GTX 780. At first there was a little problem regarding the powering of the graphic card. Here's the graphic card already installed. It looks awesome and it works awesome. So here is the back side. We have two DVI, HDMI, etc. And at first, there was just this power connection that is original from HP. With the graphic card, you get additional power connector, con connector, sorry, which has been extended um, by this connector over here it goes from SATA to this Molex. It costs around 1.5 euro for each cable, and you can insert the GTX 780 with 3 gigabytes of RAM into your HP workstation, and it works perfectly. Uh, what else can I say about the device? Nothing. Well, I hope this video helps someone with an HP workstation how to install an on HP graphic card for special purposes. Thank you for watching and peace out.